which is 2019 model 2. Three properties of a well designed algorithm would be finite, size, and ambiguous, and flow of control, elimination. They are write an algorithm that accepts an integer and then prints all multiples of 7 that are less than the accepted integer. You may assume the existence of a function named mod which accepts two arguments and returns the remainder when the program is divided by 7. Okay, um, read, um, um, while well, it could do a while, um, um, I should create a counter e equals zero. While c is less than num, uh, if num mod seven is equal to zero, what do I do? I find the sum, print all of them, print um, uh, c mod seven. If c mod seven is equal to zero, print c, uh, and then I will do c plus plus c is equal to c plus one. Yep, that's your tall bit. Yeah, that was cool, yeah. You could write four C's um zero to num. Yeah. So for that, that that's what you do to num. So this is uh alternate. Um yeah, same if full work, same what not, yeah, that'll be good. Um consider the following algorithm where B X um results are integers, read B read X. If B is less than zero or X is zero, so either one could be correct. Result is minus one, else result is one, while X is greater than zero, begin result is result by B, X is equal to X minus one, print results. Okay, rough flow chart fit. Okay, so we'll start with um let me give you a I think like this and it just like rough flow chart for us can follow along with what they have. Read B, read F and we go down here. If oh, this 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 if condition can have big so I can have big number. So we gotta have e is less than zero or x is less than zero. And then if the answer is yes, result is equal to one. So that's a rectangle. And if the answer is no, we will go down to result is equal to one. And then from there we will have a while loop which is a decision. So we have to make a next decision. But this decision is have a loop. While x is greater than zero, we have um, I put the yes, we have x is greater than zero. While x is greater than zero, yeah, we will. The result is equal to result by b, and then x is equal to x minus one, and then we loop this back up here, and then the no, we'll just go down to our integer. There's no good on top of this new Yep, that looks like it does. Got everything. We have the read B, we have the read F, we have the condition, we have the yes value condition there, we have the no condition, and then we have the while stack in here, and then we can have the mod ID, which is yes, and we have the first one there, that will be back up, and the part is supposed to be inside that to over and run over, as long as it hits the no, I mean, I'm going to say no, then we can do it again. Yeah. So these kind of questions, these kind of flowchart questions, and then you know a flowchart that you just had to follow, you could tackle this, and you could do this within a fair amount of time, because you don't, have a, you don't really have any analysis to do, it's just basically following the shit, it should be okay with that. Um, and that's an easy 10 marks, so quite done. Alright, write the value that is printed if B is 3 and X is 2 at the start of the algorithm, like this algorithm here. Alright, so if B is 3 and X is 2, if b is less than 0, x is less than 0 minus 1, so we definitely not doing this. We go into the result is 1. The result is 1 and start there. And then while x is greater than 0, begin x comes in at 3. So we must return the result. i b result will be 1 multiplied by the other star. That should be a trace code. Okay, so we have b, we have f, and we have b. So b comes in at 3, 3, and once we hit here, result changes to 1. And then we go into our y, where the result will be 1 by 3 will be. Alright, so we have the anyway look here, so the 1 by 3 which will be 3, and then the B is going to be result will be changed to 3, I, which will be 9, and then it will be a 9 by 3. No, X will be 3 for the first one, then X will go to 2, and then X will go to 1. Yeah, so we'll do it 3 times. 1, 2, yeah, 9 by 3 will be 27. Alright, so we should get 27 coming out as the result for the first one. That's correct. That's what you all got. Yes. Alright, 27 we got there, and then we want to check now for 3 and 0. So if we get B as 3 and X as 0, result, no, sorry, 0 is not less than 0. So that means the result will just change to minus 1 and then and the loop here will never get to 1. So the result will just be minus 1. Right, cool. So this is a, this is a, this is a, this is a example, right? Um, to analyze this, to analyze this question and do the trace table, it's going, go, it's going to get you two marks. But you see how long it took us to analyze it? Because you had to do a trace table, you had to check through, you had to get the answer, second guess it. 
and whatnot. All that for two marks. And now with it at this point in time, if you if you're struggling with time, you should just skip that and move on and be like, alright, I'll come back and analyze it after because I know I have problems analyzing algorithms. So I'll just move on. This this two marks here will pale in comparison to the amount of marks that you could get from what you do. Okay, right. So now on to a construction company sells equipment and wishes to acquire software to track purchases, customer information, and the quantity of construction equipment and stuff. The company has contracted the services of a software company that writes software applications. We feel describe two stages that the software company should follow when creating the software. Um, okay, you have to define the problem. Usually, you can just go through the problem solving process. Define your problem and clearly state what the problem is and um, other information about who is seeking the solution and what the current undesirable is. Something like that and then analyze. You have to collect information about the problem that would give insight about the in processing and output. Yeah. Well yeah you have define, analyze, um, code any solution, test any solution, review any solution, all of those things should be easy to, to explain because that's basically the problem solving process, uh, program development process. Which are, define each of the following, uh, selection structure, using uh, between two options based on the state of the variable. I believe I answered this question sometime, this is like that question. Almost it's like iteration, repeating a set of steps sequentially, one set of steps based on the state of the variable. Or for the sake of if then L, then L, uh, for example, for example, while or for. Just in case a function is a um, subsection of a program that does a particular pattern. Yeah. Then distinguish between a bounded iteration and unbounded iteration. Um, bounded, bounded would have. The set and end point or the amount of iteration to be carried out. Unbounded, the number of iteration depends on the state of the variable. Um, and, and the change. Yeah, depends on the state of a variable. Three marks are not too sure why, but maybe they want you to say four, and for this one, you want to say while. That's where I would see the three marks coming in. If they do have the three marks. Any questions? Nope. Okay. Alright, consider the function print, which has been using C or print in front of I have no idea why they start putting C in module 2, because C is really supposed to be in module 3. Um, Alright, consider the function print, which has been written using C. Print num stars in row i into row while row is less than num stars. So basically we're supposed to get a number and set the size. So we want to do print 5. Draw the output on print 5 is executed. So we start in 5 comes in here. i is equal to 0, row is equal to 1. The while row is less than num stars. Row is 1, num stars is 5. So row is equal to 1, num stars. I'll just put n and n as for num stars. N and so on. Right. Num stars equal to 5. Right. So what we're doing is we're saying i is equal to 0 while i is less than num stars minus row. So num stars is 5 minus row, which is 1. So this is going to result to be 4 divided by 2. So that's going to end up being 2. So while i is less than 2, i is 0. So that is 0 less than 2. So that basically going to be 1, 0, and 1. So this is going to happen 2 times. What is going to happen 2 times? We're going to print a star. No, we're going to print a hashtag. i goes up by 1. So this will do that twice. So we get 2 hashtags. Then we have i is equal to 0. So it's set back i to 0. And so as while i is less than row, if i is 0 and row was always set to 1, that means we'll print 1 one time, which will be 1 star. i goes up by 1. This while loop will stop because 1 is less than 1. Set back i to 0 again. Now we're doing num stars, which is 5 minus row divided by 2. The exact same thing from on top there. So 5 minus, no, 5 minus 1 is end up getting 4 divided by 2, which will give me 2. We're going to do the same, same thing here and put 2 hashtags on the outside. That's good. Then row goes up by 1 and we reach back up to uh, here. No, yeah, we reach back up to here because the while loop, while loop is going to go up to here. So row plus plus, so carry it up by 1 and then we go to a new line. So we go to a new line. Row goes up now to 2. So row will go to 2. Alright, so now row goes up to 2. Is 2 less than 5, which is num stars? Yes, that is correct. So now we are going to check to see if i is less than this calculation. Now, because this calculation is going to give us a decimal, we have to be able to understand that c will round it down to the, to the value. So num stars is 5. 
minus 2, which is really divided by 2 is 1.5. It's going to round down to 1. Uh, we'll we'll just double check. Integer. Yeah, we'll run around. Yeah, I'll round down. So we'll get we'll end up getting one, right? So while I plus on one, so we'll get one of these. And then this will stop. And then we have I less than row, which is two. So it's going to go zero and one. So we get a star here, then a star here. Because I is two, I set back to zero and the row just went up to two. So now will be zero and one. And then we'll get one function here. Because this is going to round down to one. And then we go to a new line, and that new line now will carry up. Row by one, so it will become three. Three less than or equal to num stars. Yes, that is correct. So now we're going to get five. Take away three, which will give me two divided by two, which will give me one. So I'm gonna get the exact same thing here, which is one to here. Two stars here. Nope, it's three. We will now change this to three. I'll get three stars, and then I'll get a three here because this this um hashtag will be for this one. Here. Right? You see how we get three, right? So this will be zero, one, and two. That's why it will go zero, one, and two. That's how I get zero, one, two. Yes. Yeah. Five, three, 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 which will be two divided by two, which will be one. Good so far. All right, and then what will happen is now num star, sorry, row is going to go up to four. While four is less than five, we now say four take away three divided by two is one divided by two, which is a half. So that's going to round down to zero. So therefore, this loop will do nothing because. 0 is not less than 0, so we're not getting that. However, row has gone up to 4, and that means we're going to get 1, 2, um, 1, 2, 3, 4 of these. Four stars. And of course, this here not, is not going to print out anything because we're going to get 4, take away 3, which will be a half, and it's going to run down to 0. Right? So the next thing now will be if 5 is less than equal to 5, which is true, but now it's going to be worse because now it's going to be num stars, which will be 5, take away 5, which is 0. Um, Five, take away five, which will end up being zero. So this loop, this this first loop here, now going to run again. This second loop here is going to run because now row will be five, so we're going to print zero, one, two, three, four of those, and then the second loop is not going to run, and now our while loop is complete. So then we end. So this will be our output. Here. All right. Any questions? We good. The answer there. Let's see who's with that. We write function print using four statements instead of while statements. Um, and then how to do that. Here. Okay, so for the um for the function, we just write it to avoid um print um, int num star. We will well, we write back the same thing that I had before, which is the uh, the integer for row and integer for i. Yeah, int row and int i and set them to zero. Int row equal to zero and i. Well, we're not setting the i to any value at the start. Oh no, we set an i to zero and row is, row is one. My bad. Row is one and i is equal to zero. Yeah. Alright, the first for loop will be instead of any while loop of four, row is equal to one. Um, row less than or equal to num star, row plus plus. Alright, that's the first one. Um, what do we do inside there? We do the stuff, right? Whatever. So, this is the overarching for here. So, this is the overarching, the overarching while loop here, which is the first one that we do. Right? And then now inside there, we had to set i to 0 and then the while. But because it's our for loop, we just we could set the i to 0 one time inside there. So, we could go 4 i is equal to 0, i less than um, the equation. You have to do the equation i less than num stars minus rho divided by 2. And then you can do i plus 4. Alright, so the same equation I have inside there, that's where you, that's where you had to read. And we want to print that the uh, on sign. Right, that's one for the second for loop now would be four i is equal to zero i less than rho. I less than rho, yeah. Yeah, i less than rho. I plus plus, which will and then we print uh, the star. And then the last for loop is a repeat of the first one. So I'll just repeat you like so. Yeah. And then we just close off that for loop yeah? No. After the uh, the printer, the backslash n, yeah, the backslash n over there, and then we could end the form, and then after we end the form, we could close the function now, right? Yep. Yeah. Alright, so that's it there. Any yeah. questions about that? Should be okay there. The hardest part is putting the equation inside the form. Alright, the factorial of a positive integer is defined by um, what I call integers, so I think we bounced up a question like this already. So we had to create a function called factorial. It's returning um, an integer, so we put inches in the image, and we get an integer. Yeah. Now, to find it, we need to set a value, uh, a starting value. So we had to create a loop. So I'll create a loop for in I'll put i for the for the value. Um, and we had to set the result to one by default. The reason we set the, the, the one to result by default is because they have a, 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 a 
a standard case that should happen. If the if the if the value is a zero, the answer is supposed to return one. So we'll do a for loop and we will start the increment from there. So we start i at x, right? So if if the value of i come if the value of x comes in as a zero, this will automatically pick it up and be like, all right, it'll be from x to from zero to zero. And i has to be greater than zero for the loop to start. And instead of doing an add in for loop, you'll do a minus for loop. You'll go minus 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 minus. Right. So that now will solve our problem of if we get a uh, one, the um the result will just stay as one and it'll never return anything. But if it doesn't, we'll do result is equal to result multiply by i, and the value of i will keep going down each time. And then once that's done, we just return the result. And we'll make it all easier by by encapsulating this in brackets so that you know this is going to be the the thing that the for loop does, and then return result. So you could do this with a while loop, or you could do it with a for loop. But the, the concept is you must take into consideration this first possibility here which is the result is one so if this for loop never gets to run it will return one one time but if the for loop does get to run it'll multiply by itself going down each time so it'll multiply uh, four by one and then three by whatever result is and then two and then one by the result and then it will return the result and that is the this is the shortest way to do it but there's a for loop way to do it too if you want a while loop way to do it if you want you could do a while loop but that if you like what solving it is pretty straightforward any questions all right so we should be good there